of the burger show. Today I visit Good Times Burger and Frozen Custard, which is another Colorado chain. So as always, I'm very excited to share this meal with you, so let's get into it. One, two, three, and all right, and this looks pretty good. So what I got here today is the mushroom Swiss burger meal, and for the side I got onion rings and a strawberry milkshake to drink. I also went ahead and got a side order of the green chili potato poppers, and it comes with a strawberry dipping sauce. I'm pretty excited for that. So the meal with the shake and the onion rings was around $13, and then the extra side was, I believe, $3.30. So all together it was about $17. All right, so let's try one of these potato poppers first. Mm. The inside is soft and kind of like a hash brown. Um, it has cheese in it with the potato, and then there's also a little, um, a decent amount of spice from the green chili as well. The strawberry sauce is pretty sweet, but it, uh, it contrasts the spiciness of this pretty well. Now they did seem to forget a straw for my milkshake, but that's okay because I have this reusable one that I got at the Harvest Festival last year. I'll try one of these onion rings next. It's got a nice thick batter on it. The flavor overall of the batter is pretty average, I would say, but it is a good onion ring. Try a bite of this mushroom Swiss burger next. So as you might know, mushroom Swiss burgers are one of my favorite kinds of burgers. I know that might be a controversial take uh, because of how people feel about mushrooms, but I stand by it wholeheartedly. It seems like the mushrooms were sauteed in like almost a sauce that, that adds to the, the mushroom Swiss burger. I'm trying an onion ring in this strawberry sauce. It tastes like something you might get at the state fair. It seems like this burger is made up of pretty high quality ingredients um, that gives it a really nice flavor. So I did go ahead and add some ketchup here to go with my onion rings. Uh, do you like onion rings? And if so, what's your favorite condiment to go with onion rings or do you just eat them plain? The quick weather report is that it started to warm up a little bit. I'm hoping to do another video in my car soon. Um, I wanna wait till it gets a little bit cooler for that though. Mm, that's delicious. The inside of these potato poppers remind me a little bit of the cheesy potato bites that they sold at Casey's General Store. Now compared to Smashburger, Good Times is um, a smaller restaurant. They only have a drive through and a walk-up window normally. Um, and a more limited menu. The strawberry dipping sauce is very sweet. Um, if I had one criticism, I would say that maybe it could use a little bit more of a spice or even just a little bit um, less of a sweet flavor. And so the quality of this burger, it might be a little bit higher quality than Smash Burger. I don't think that it has quite as much flavor. Now I have noticed that mushroom Swiss burgers are a little bit hard to come by around here. Uh, so I do appreciate that Good Times has one that's always available to me. So I know this video has been pretty chill. I accidentally ate the last bite of my burger. I think this could be part of a new series that I call Laid Back Lunch. Let me know what you think of that idea. As I'm finishing up today's meal, let me just give everything a quick rating. Uh, I'd say the burger was probably a six out of 10. 
Uh, the onion rings were a three out of five, and the potato poppers were my favorite um, at a 14 out of 20 probably. And then the milkshake uh, actually ties as being my favorite as well, also with a 14 out of 20. So pretty highly scored meal today. I just have the shake to finish up here. I'll probably eat the rest of those jalapeno poppers and onion rings as a snack later. So overall, I probably have to give good times a three out of five. I, I would definitely suggest uh, visiting if you're ever close to one and you just needed a quick bite to eat. Uh, they do have really high quality food there. So I think that about wraps up this video. Let me know if you have any ideas for any other segments you'd like to see me do or any suggestions of places you'd like to see me try. And until next video, this is Burger Joel signing off for now.